This DVD is a how-to for ministry connectors. It will show you how the CCB process tracks and communicates someone's journey in finding a place to serve God. It starts with receiving the name of a person who is interested in your ministry and takes you all the way through to when they either join your ministry or you refer them to another ministry or a church-wide connector. Once someone joins your ministry, you should add them to your CCB group. The process for keeping track of people who sign up for a ministry, or several ministries, is fairly simple. There are two main screens, the Q screen and the View screen. You can easily go back and forth between these two screens. There are also some pop-up boxes where you can record decisions or write notes. You will always be asked to save what you select. The first thing, of course, is to go to www.mppc.org and type in your login and password. This demonstration will be using fictitious names of ministries and people. We chose the church-wide events ministry to show how to contact and keep track of people who are interested in this ministry. The next thing to do is to scroll down the left-hand sidebar to manage my steps and click on Manage My Steps, which will take us to Churchwide Events. When we click on Churchwide Events, we will immediately see the cue screen for that ministry. The description paragraph tells you the steps to follow for helping someone find a ministry where they can serve. The managers, who would be the ministry connectors, for this ministry are Lionel Newton and Elton Sherwin. The queue of names of people who have signed up for the Churchwide Events ministry is listed at the bottom of the screen. Now let's see how the process of contacting an individual and keeping track of the individual's journey and connecting to a ministry works. Notice there are red dots followed by not started after each name. As soon as you see a new name in the queue, you should click on accept. The red dot will automatically be changed to green, which means in process. This will indicate that you have received the email and you are aware of the new person in your queue. Let's see how to do this. We'll click on Accept after Lester Stenner. The view screen will automatically appear showing information for Lester Stenner. Notice that the red dot has been changed to green. The green dot will remain until the individual has been contacted. The view screen shows contact information, phone, a link to a quick email, and an address for Lester Stenner. You can return to the queue screen anytime by clicking on Back to Step Queue and you can get to the view screen anytime by clicking on view. You should contact the individual within a week after you receive the email. In Lester's case, after our conversation with him, he indicated he would like to pray about joining the churchwide events ministry. So in the view screen, we will click on waiting. Notice the green dot changed to yellow. You will need to contact the person again after a couple of weeks. In Lester's case, he decided he wanted to join the Churchwide Events Ministry. It is important for tracking to make a note about that. We will click on Create New Note, and when a box pops up, we will type a standard note, Joined Ministry. Of course, it's terribly important to click on Save. Please note that the date and name of the ministry are automatically provided. Notes cannot be erased. To complete the process for Lester, we need to click on Done. Notice when we do that, a box pops up. Also notice there are two checked boxes. You will always need to uncheck the box or boxes you don't want. In Lester's case, we are going to uncheck the referred to churchwide connector box because we want to indicate that he has joined the ministry. It's a good idea to verify that the correct box is checked before you then click on the Save button. Now let's go back to the queue. We'll do that by clicking on Back to Step Queue. Let's see how things turned out with Graham Prager. When we first received the email, we went into the church database right away and clicked Accept after Graham's name. Since someone may indicate an interest in several ministries, it is always a good idea to first look at the notes and also look to the right where you will see a history for contact with ministries. If every ministry connector faithfully changes the status symbols, such as dots, etc., 
it will be easy to track each person. Sure enough, we see that the Mission Food Ministry is in touch with Graham and they also referred him to the Churchwide Events Ministry. After talking to Graham, it seems that the Churchwide Events Ministry is not a fit for him. When someone is no longer interested in your ministry, but is interested in another ministry or ministries, you can tell him or her that you are able to email someone in each ministry who will contact him. This is a key place to not let someone fall through the cracks. Graham wanted to be put in touch with someone in the New Believers Class Ministry and also the Visitors Luncheon Ministry, where he can use his gift of hospitality. We'll click on the Process Step Cues drop-down box on the right side of the screen, and then click on Connect Ministry Mission. When the Quick Steps box pops up, you will notice a whole list of ministries that can be contacted. We will click on the box of the ministries that Graham requested and then type a standard note referred to another ministry. Only one note is necessary even if several ministries are selected. If you want to add to a standard note, please remember that notes cannot be erased once they are saved. They should be factual, objective, short, concise, and respectful. They remain on an individual's record and might be viewed by the individual. Be sure to remember to click on the Save button. The note you type in Quick Steps box will automatically appear in the Notes field. Now we need to click on Done. In the box that pops up, we will uncheck both the Joined Ministry box and the Referred to Churchwide Connector box, and then click on Save. The person's name will be emailed to the New Believers Class Ministry Connector and also the Visitors Luncheon Ministry Connector. Graham's name will be removed from the active list for the Churchwide Events Ministry. The yellow dot will change to Done when we click again on Back to Step Q. We've shown how you indicate a person has joined your ministry and how you refer someone to another ministry. There are three situations where you need to refer the person to the Churchwide Connector so that we won't lose anyone in the cracks. The first situation is when an individual does not want to join your ministry and does not ask to be referred to another ministry. Even if you notice they are talking to other ministries by reading the notes or by looking at the list on the right hand side of the screen, you need to refer that person to a Churchwide Connector who will watch out for that individual. The second situation is when the individual does not know what ministries to choose. The Churchwide Connector will ask about gifts and interests and suggest other ministries. And the third situation is when you are not able to make any contact with the person. In all three situations, do not remove the name, but do refer that person to a Churchwide Connector. Let's see how things went for Isabel. When we first received the email with her name, we clicked on Accept. As we talked with Isabel, she began to realize she didn't have a clear call as to where God wanted her to serve in ministry. So we suggested she talk with one of our churchwide connectors. First, we will click on Create New Note. In the box, we will type Referred to Churchwide Connector and click on the Save button. Finally, we will click on Done. And in the box that pops up, we'll uncheck the Joined Ministry box. And of course, we will remember to click on the Save button. Please note, names on your queue will disappear whenever you click Done and Save. To see your original queue list, go to the queue screen, click on the drop-down box showing Not Done, and select Any Status. Then click on the next drop-down box showing Assigned to Me, Unassigned and select All. When you click on Search, a list of all names of those requesting your ministry will appear. That's all there is to learning the church database process for keeping track of people who want to find a place to use their gifts to serve God in ministry. Once someone has joined your ministry, you should add their name to CCB groups. If someone contacts you directly, fill out a ministry sign-up card and send to the equipping ministry to be entered into CCB. May God bless you in your service to him.